So this video is for assignment number six for Shasta College. And let's look at it here. Pull it up really quick. For CIS uh, 61 for Kate Pollen's class for fall of 2021. And uh, sign it here. Robot Wars. This assignment you'll create robot fighting game. Two robots, computer, get credit, you missed assignment. You must use structures or classes and objects, loops, and decisions. All loops exit. Make sure that all loops break and exit. Either have a break statement or exit the loop. Uh, computer's robot random generator wins. Okay. I, I'm going to put this on GitHub after I'm done too, so all the code will be on that. It'll be under, I think, what is my GitHub account? Is it GitHub? GitHub. There it is. L McCann 2. So I'll put it on after I do this. Time. After each battle, let's give the option to play again. Both robots must have full health with the wins and losses updated to reflect the previous battle. Do not recalculate the robot's damage. Remember to add common blocks. When we did that, sample is what it's supposed to look like. So, and I thank Isaiah Witten for helping out with this immensely in this project. Like he's helped out with numerous of the other projects and I appreciate that. So big shout out to Isaiah Witten once again. And we'll pull this up and see what we did. So obviously you do your coding block, it starts out here. Include your libraries here, your input output stream, input output manipulation, C standard library, C time. That's for your random number generator, this one here. C time. And include your standard library. And it's a little bit bigger. There we go. So start it out and make your struct for your robot statistics. Make sure you include your string. In your struct, all your integer statements, make sure you have your brackets around them so it holds your integer values as an array. I put a little comment here to make sure you add your brackets. Declare and prototype your three functions that you're going to use. So here's our three functions prototyped and declared. It's going to pass the variable robot stats and the second one robot stats. And then there's your damage roll. It's not a cinnamon roll, it's a damage roll. That's a, that's a random number generator to, between one and two. So your st statistics display robot stats here. Your first function is your mean. So here's your mean. Got two variables, robot stats. This is your computer robot. This is your robot, player robot. Then you gotta include for a string variable for your to hold the user input here so then you see out what do you want to name your robot one word only please and you get the name of the robot here and you put it in your robot name add a line set robot stats it's where you call your robot statistics function here. Create a boolean variable for your loop. Next game is true. And then you do your loop while the next game equals true. And the player robot, you display the statistics here. Computer robot, 
starts out with 100 here. And you have your statistics for your computer robot and player robot and your computer robot. And you can skip down, add your character as a key, press any key or enter to continue. This is where you, we declared our string variable and our character key, which goes back to the string variable up there. And add a line, ready, set, to see out here. Integer, this is the attack, this is the first attack, plus one. While your bowling on is true, we're doing a loop attacker equals zero. It's initializing the attacker. Damage. Random number generator between one and two. I told you that was the function up there. That's your variable for it. Attack number here, as you see out. So if attack equals zero, then do your damage roll where we use that function where we do between one random number between one and two. So damage done equals robot damage dot done. So you're calling the function damage done. Robot health minus the damage done. Let's see how the robot name if they attack and the robot name does what amount of damage here, see out that. If attacker equals one, damage done, computer robot damage. Player robot health here, moving the amount of damage to you the player robot. Let me see out the robot name if they're attacking. See how it does what amount of damage here. The amount of damage done here. Attack number equals this is where you're adding one to the attack for the next game or if you're doing the game until the health gets down to zero, if it's greater than zero, or if the robot health is greater than zero, then you break, display the statistics again for the, your player and the robot. You have your character key again, declared. Press any key to continue, so this is if you want to continue. Sure, we save this. Display the wins here. You add one to the win at the win because you're seeing what robot wins here. Display the number of losses. Ooh. One second. Entry is false while valid entry is false. We're gonna see how would you like another play again? Would you like another match? Yeah. And we take in what the user enters here as a character of choice. I say yes and no. If choice equals yes, then next game equals true. If it's a, that's a valid entry is true, we change our boolean into true then. So we start out as false, and if they hit yes, we say it's true, change it to true. So, else if we add another one, if the choice is no here, the next game boolean is set to false again, so valid entry is true. If 
uh, wins the Mox record, final score, wins, losses, robot wins, robot losses. So then, for error checking, we do, if it's either Y or yes, then that's an invalid entry, and we go through it again. Return zero, exit the program gracefully. So now we go into our functions that we declared up top, but we're not actually writing them down here. So, so this is our first function where we use the robot stats, computer robot, robot stats, and the player robot here. Set the wins to zero. So we declare our variables. We set the losses to zero. We name the computer robot Zeus. We enter our own name for our own robot. That's where we use our time, int time, seed time here. So for our seed, it's a random number here. Oh. So this is a random number between one here and 10 here. We could do this the other way and put the one and then this bracket here, and then one plus this entire robot bosses is random number between one and 10. Robot damage is a random number between one and a hundred. Mm -hmm. yeah. Robot damage is a random number between one and a hundred. And we return out of that. So our second dam our second function is for damage done during the roll. And damage, X damage. That's our variable that we're passing here. Do our untime or our seed time again here. Right here. For our seed here. Which is our random number from time. This is where we declare the, the amount of damage done here, which is a random number that's generated for max plus one. We get the max from here, the seed time. We return the value of what damage roll from here. We return it back to our main. I think that's it. Oh, no, the stat statistics is split. So stat display is this is robot statistics. So obviously we that pass these two here. So see how stats of the name has next line. And this is where we're displaying the health. So see how health of zero, else the health here, statistics of health. It shows the damage here, the wins here, losses here, and returns. So let's go ahead and save that and run it. Once again, Isaiah Witten, thank them all. Add them to your acknowledgements in your codes. I'll also put the code on GitHub when I'm done here. So they both start out with 100. Zeus has 100, Indra has 100. So then you press in key, then hit enter. And then it displays the damage done. Press any key again, displays your again. Again, 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 again. Mm -hmm. And this will keep going. Hold on.
Ah, Indra won. Sorry, Zeus. <laughs> I win. So I don't want to play again. I'm good. <laughs> that's how that's how computer uh, assignment number six, Robot Wars, works for CIS 61, for Kate and Pollen's class, for Shasta College, fall of 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, once again, acknowledge Isaiah Witten for helping out with this program. It's pretty awesome. Thanks. Recording there. Thanks for watching. Once again, CIS 61, fall of 2021, Kate and Pollen's class, Shasta College. Thanks. Bye.